Hello guys, once again, um, I didn't post this week or last week because where I live we have a storm and everything and there was no electricity, so that means no internet. Well today we are going to do a Halloween theme. Um, right now I am building my tip. First, with a form, you can use a uh, artificial tip if you want to. Just glue on the natural nail. So I'm just brushing everything down. Make sure your bead is a little dry whenever you work with a form, so you can control it with your brush. I'm wetting my brush to try to move whatever that slide down on the form. And now I'm applying some black acrylic, little by little. Make sure every single time you, after you apply your acrylic, brush your, brush down your brush on the paper towel clean. So you won't smear it everywhere on your nail with um, any color that you are working with next on top of the black acrylic. So I am literally trying to fade everything out and not making a harsh line where my black acrylic stop. So once you apply the black acrylic, just try to do it one small bead at a time and swipe it up. Um, I am applying the orange acrylic right now. Um, these acrylic colors I make, I literally just put some orange pigment in a container and some clear acrylic. That's why I found it not easy to work with. So yes, yeah, so I just put a little by little on anywhere that I need it to be. And don't worry about your nail being all lumpy and ugly and stuff because once you're done, you're going to cap it with clear and then file it and you won't see any, any lumps or anything like that. So I took off my form and then I see that the tip don't have, have a lot of clear. And you don't see my black acrylic cell right now. I'm just applying more black acrylic on the tip. And then I went back with my orange acrylic because whenever I brush up my black acrylic, I kind of smudge and make my orange acrylic all dull and stuff. Right there. And put some of my cuticle. Anywhere that I think need more orange to it, little by little, brush it down. And then I'm basically trying to ombre it, trying to give it a smoky effect. When you ombre, make sure your bead is a little wet, so whenever you brush it down, it'll fade it in. Now I am putting a little black acrylic just little by little make sure it's a little dry so you can try to shape it into whatever shape you want so right now i'm trying to make the teeth of the jack-o-lantern that i am attempting to do so what i do is i place a teeny small bead on where i want it to be and then making sure my brush is a little dry so if I touch the bee with my brush the bee would not slide and slip around go trying to manipulate the acrylic and then when I'm done with that I was trying to put a little bit a black acrylic on top and I fade it out so it can make this smudgy scary effect to it so 
Now I'm trying to make the eyes of the jack-o'-lantern. Drawing out the triangle. Trying to shape it in. If your bead is dry enough but not wet, you can literally push the bead into place with your acrylic brush. Just make sure it's not too wet. And if the bead is kind of dry, just make sure your brush is a little wet so you can push it around. Play with it a little bit before it dries up completely and then you can't move it anymore. And you can see me pushing it in, pushing it in. And now I'm trying to do that smudgy look. Just kind of dip your brush into the black acrylic. A teeny tiny see where I did it where I got too much acrylic so I took some off and now I am encapsulating everything with clear make sure everything is under that clear because you do not want to file anything off that you like Move your nail around also so you can see wherever you need clear at or extra acrylic at. And now I am top coating. I skip over the shaping because you guys see me shape a lot. So I just skip that, that part on this um, video. Now I'm top coating with gel top. As you can see. There you go guys. Hope you guys like this video. Please like comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.